What's up guys, MA Fish Guy. Today's video request is going to be on how to breed the jewel cichlid. Uh, these guys are perfect for a beginner cichlid uh, breeder, but the only problem with them is trying to tell the genders. Uh, with these guys it's very difficult with all the hybrids out there, all the selective breeding. Um, some people can tell by color. There's also some that have a black spot, but now, like I said, with selective breeding, pretty much all these guys have that. Uh, so it's real difficult. The best and easiest way that I've found is to take like six or eight of them. Uh, you're going to need about a 40 to a 55 gallon tank and put them into the tank and let them pretty much pair off on their own. As long as you're feeding good quality food like frozen brine shrimp, blood worms, beef heart, anything real meaty, frozen, uh, you're going to get the best quality and the quickest uh, results. With these guys though, they only get about four to five inches. Uh, if you're looking for to think that you're going to find a breeding pair, you can also try to buy one off a of store. You're going to pay a little bit more since they are a little bit more harder to sex. Um, and also with these guys, they breed relatively easy. Uh, once you do get a pair out of that group, you want to divide them into like a sectioned off or a separate tank. Uh, usually 20 gallon works the best. Uh, you want to put a clay pot or a piece of slate rock in there. Um, you can even do glass, like a flat piece of glass. Um, anything like that pretty much a flat surface they're going to breed on. Uh, you can also do sand that works the best. Uh, they are going to burrow kind of like a, a crater almost into the sand and that's what they're going to breed into or even transport the babies to. Uh, most mine breed inside the clay pots and then usually after hatching after about two or three days they're going to be moving them into the hole that they dig. Also with um, separating them you don't have to worry about other fish trying to eat them. Uh, sometimes the aggression gets to the other jewel cichlids, the parents, and they'll actually eat the babies. Uh, so you definitely want to try to keep them separate or in a completely separate tank altogether. This way you don't have any losses on the other side of your tank or with the parents or the babies. But to get these guys into the breeding mood, um, you can do daily water changes, every other day water changes 25%, um, put slightly warmer water, usually like a degree or two. Uh, do frozen food um, and pretty much just wait for it to happen. Uh, like I said, these guys aren't as easy as the convict cichlids, but definitely really close. Uh, and the coloration is a lot better on these guys, especially when you get some of the turquoise or reds. Um, especially some of those blood reds, they're gorgeous. Um, some of the red on them is so intense that it almost just like, like a red blur goes in your tank. Um, I've really never even seen coloration like this. Um, only you get it in salt water. So the red color is beautiful. Same thing with the turquoise. Especially if you get a male, they just they're gorgeous. Um, with these guys, like I said, two to three days for the eggs to hatch. Um, they will consume the yolk sac. Uh, so usually by about day five to seven, you're starting to feed them. Uh, baby brine shrimp, crushed um, flakes, uh, egg yolk. If you can boil it. Uh, mash it up into a paste to eat that. That's just a messy way of doing it though and you're going to be doing more water changes than what you're already going to have to do. Um, with these guys, they can be good parents or bad parents. It all depends. Most of mine have been great. I've only had one pair that hasn't been and I had to take them out and put them into a separate tank and keep the fry in the grow out tank, which was a 20 gallon. Um, with this though, you want a, like a filtration or power head moving water. Uh, if you do keep the eggs by themselves, that way they're not sitting and gathering fungus, uh, which if you get one or two eggs in and you don't have good water movement, it will soon take over you know, half to three-fourths of your uh, batch of eggs, which is devastating to see. Um, after these guys grow out, the fry get a little bit bigger and can go into their own separate tank. Uh, once they're pretty much free swimming, you can let them be on their own. Uh, you don't have to worry about the parents keeping them in there. Um, so in a quick review, 20 gallon tank, parents can be good or bad, just keep an eye on them. Um, freedom, frozen food, uh, put them in a, like a five to six fish in a group and let them pair off individually. Separate the parents. Uh, babies hatch after about two to three days after five to seven days you're going to be feeding them baby brine shrimp or any kind of baby food that you can get for or fish um, and that's pretty much it like I said these guys are real difficult to sex so once you overcome that hurdle you should have no problem uh, if you have any questions comments post them below subscribe to my channel uh, check out my website mafishguy.blogspot.com